excited I'm here again with you on the section of love, parenting, and mental health with your counseling psychologist, Tosin Togun, and also presiding God's minister at the Hope for Generations ministry. Last section, we talk about what romance is in a marital relationship and we establish the uh, three bedrocks of romance you could actually get that video in case you miss out on it okay today we are still building on that and uh, we are actually looking expressly into elements of romance in courtship and in marriage and also we are also looking at hindrances to romance in a marital relationship today on the show going very quickly let me establish the fact that absence of romance in a marital relationship could make it very boring and unexciting you understand what i mean in case you have been into any relationship before that is not romantic you could just relate with the fact that that could actually stress one out. okay so and it's important to make your marriage a uh, honeymoon on a daily basis it's important that your courtship is a honeymoon on a daily basis why because it is good for your mental health and that's why i'm here today okay moving very quickly let's establish what romance is in a courtship because what romance is in a courtship is different from what romance is in a marriage and when we mean good it together that is when we may do the two together or when we bring romance that is meant for marriage into the romance that is meant for courtship then we are going to impend the growth of romance in that particular courtship so it's important that we know the element of romance in courtship and the element of romance in marriage so that we don't bring them into each other and mess up the whole thing because it's important that your courtship is romantic why only a romantic courtship could graduate to a romantic marriage and that's why it's important that right from the very beginning of your courtship you know your courtship starts romantically and like i said in the other section we had in our very first section i said romance is not sex it is the heart of being involved with your marital partner passionately on every side okay the elements of romance in uh, courtship her acceptance that is the model of romance you must accept who your partner is you know also accountability you must be able to be accountable to each other sometimes we wait till marry before we start getting accountable to each other and we sometimes say to ourselves ah, at least we are not yet married so why should i be accountable to you the accountability to your partner start right from when you are in courtship so you are accountable then communication must be perfect when i talk about communication i talk about the art of having feedback because without feedback communication is not completed and i talk about the heart of openness you know where you talk about everything in your past present and in your future without secrecy okay uh also there are other elements of romance uh, in courtship we shall um make an important decision together you know um putting trust in place trust is very very important like you know one of the things that could affect trust in a marital relationship is premarital sex because each of you involving that marital relationship is thinking at the back of your mind if this girl or this guy could just be uh, sexually attracted to me or committed to me this way what if another person comes in and actually giving you know maybe give him more than what i'm giving to him right now will he still be mine you know that's uh that conflict begins within and it affects trust in that particular relationship have a common mentor you know these are the things that are necessary for your courtship to work majorly let me say this that it is not important you know to marry your friend 
it is not a necessity but it is very very important and necessary to make whoever you are getting involved with your friend your bestie you shouldn't be involved with a person while your bestie is another person you know that is called emotional shitting it's a topic for another day all right so let's take a let's also look at what romance is in a marriage i will just you know we know all of that because a number of us are engaging in that already and these are kissing caressing fond me baiting together sleeping together touches public display as uh, affection and whole lot of that and for romance to really be romance in marriage all the elements of romance in courtship must be present and this is when it becomes balanced you know this is when it becomes romantic in the actual sense you know it is not just love making it is love making you know it is not just sexual uh, intercourse it is love making you know when it is romantic all right uh let's take a break right now i'll be right back are you searching for professional counseling services appealing and available to individuals, schools, families, communities, corporate and religious organizations at an affordable rate? Look no further. Shop Up Counseling Clinic is a registered counseling firm and a recognized member of the Counseling Association of Nigeria. Shop Up Counseling Clinic offers services in the following categories. Toddler and preschool development counseling, pre-teens and teens counseling, premarital counseling, marital counseling, parenting, rehabilitation and remedial counseling, corporate counseling. Other services include book sales, library services and training. We also offer home services for children and the aging. Likewise, we treat addiction and offer therapy for mental well-being. Show Up Counseling Clinic is located at 99 Elite Bus Stop, adjacent Uluyolu Shasha O, Puliyele Yele Rodebado. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Show Up Counseling Clinic for inquiry. Visit our website www.shcounselingclinic.org.ng or call 0803-537-6009 or 0806-847-575. Show Up Counseling Clinic, living people better than we met them. Thanks for still joining me on the program. All right, it is still love, parenting, and uh, mental health therapy with Tosin Togun. And right now we are looking at hindrances to romance in a marital relationship. Okay, one of the first very thing that could impend romance in a marital relationship is unrealistic expectation. You know, when you put the whole, uh, you know, the whole responsibility, both the one God should do for you and the one you should do for yourself on your partner and you expect that person to actually be 100 percent there for you this is so unrealistic because that person is not your god okay it's just your spouse and he also have uh, he or she also have things that he or she also have to put in place to live a balanced life okay and another thing is constant criticism you know always looking always believing that your partner should be up and doing your partner should be the best you know as if you are competing with others uh as if you want your partner to be competing with other partners of your friends or something you know we have to come to the point where we actually accept whoever we are involved with the truth of the matter is that once you make the decision to be uh, involved with a person we are still going to see another person who is more handsome or beautiful who is more talented who is more you know who is more intellectually sound and all of that so we just have to come to the point of acceptance and be wrestling with our choice you know there are there are, of course there are positive criticism that could actually steer somebody to achieve a goal but when it becomes you know negative is when is at the point where you say all of that you know all the time without even helping him to helping him or her to see the way out and that becomes very very unhealthy next to that is lack of contentment you know when you are still hoping that you get somebody better you know that will not actually make you to give your best to that courtship or to that marriage because at the back of your mind is like you are actually like okay i'm involved with you but i'm look i'm still looking out for something better 
that will not allow romance to be well fostered in such a relationship. Also, solo, solo syndrome is another one. Solo syndrome. Solo syndrome is a heart of, you know, each of you pursuing different goals. Each of you doing your things your own way. You know, not carrying each other along, you know. Each of you having your life to live. And, the, and it is no other uh, it is none of your business, whatever happens to the other party. And that is solo syndrome. This usually affects communication in a marital relationship. And it usually impends uh, 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 romance in a marital relationship. It's very, very important that you and your partner have a common goal to pursue. You might not necessarily have uh, something very, very similar. But, uh, you know, both of you could adjust to ensure that each of you have a very good life to live and achieve a greater goals okay and lastly is breakdown in communication of course all of the aforementioned points will lead to breakdown in the marital relationship these are hindrances that are very natural you know to improve in our marital relationship okay till i come your way some uh, next week i remain your counseling psychologist